para po sa ating usapang pangkalusugan, ang ating topic ngayon ay about flu. Kasama po natin ngayong umaga si Dr. J.M. Ko. Isa po siyang endocrinologist at host ng Doctors on TV. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Ayan, yeah. wala si Miss Lina. Sanayo kay Ate Lina. Huwag mo ka atin, excuse me. <laughs> oh, sis Maria Josem. Okay, Doc. Pag-usapan natin, ano ba ang flu? Okay, yung flu, pag sabi mong flu, yan yung influenza virus mm -mm. na mabilis makahawa sa ibang mm -mm. tao. It causes mm -mm. upper respiratory symptoms, mm -mm. cough, colds, minsan nagkaka-fever, mm -mm. sumasakit yung mga kalamnan, sakit ang katawan. Pero dahil flu siya, nawawala din siyang mag-isa. Mm -mm. Pahinga lang, tsaka fluids. Mm -mm. So, totoo ba yung halimbawa pag malamig yung panahon, prone ka na magkaroon ng Parang flu? mas nagsispread yung flu virus pag malamig kasi dikit-dikit yung mga tao, mm -mm. people uh, keep together, mm -mm. na mabilis makahawa, tapag mm -mm. nababahing. Droplet inhalation naman ang mm -mm. spread ng flu virus. So, kung may isang taong bumahing nandun, for example, mm -mm. pwedeng umabot hanggang dito, Kano, pwedeng mahigo. Uh -oh. Kung halimbawa nga, bumahing sa latas nandito, mga ilang araw yung yung period ng time na bago ako mahawa? Maybe in a few days, two to three days, you uh -oh. can get the symptoms na yun. Mabilis yan. Mm -mm. Nandun na yun sa'yo, no? Mm -mm. Uh -oh. Tapos, sino yung mga usually yung at risk ng flu? Oh, everyone, yung mabilis mahawa? Everyone can get flu talaga. Mm -hmm. Usually, mga people who go in groups. Mm -hmm. so, yung mga students o yung mga elderly na sa nursing homes. Mm -hmm. Doctors and nurses, yung mga healthcare mm -hmm. workers dahil na-expose kami sa patients, mm -hmm. we're also at risk. Kaya importante, lagi kayo nakamask, ano? Usually. Mm -hmm. Of course, the elderly, ang recommendation, 50 years old and above, dapat may vaccine. Mm -hmm. uh, tapos, other People who have heart disease, asthma, mm -hmm. uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, mga emphysema, smokers also at risk for getting mm, oo, oo. Kasi syempre, mabababa na rin yung mga immune systems na tayo, yes. no? Mm -hmm. Of course, the malnourished is also oo, at risk. Oo, oo. Tapos syempre, para sa kaalaman po ng ating mga kasambahay, ano-ano yung mga signs and symptoms ng, pag nagkaroon ka ng flu? For most patients who get flu, kahit na colds lang and cough, that's mm -hmm. enough. Then, yung iba sa mga sakit yung katawan, sakit talaga. Oo, oh, oh, ako din nakakaranas na ako ng ganun. At naman tayo nakakaranas ng ganun, eh, diba? Nagpe-fever, eh. Mm -hmm. Yung iba, minsan na high fever pa mm -hmm. nga. High fever, tapos talaga yung muscle aches, muscle diba? Aches. Yung uh -huh. joints, lahat. Tapos walang ganang kumain. Kasama yeah, oh, yun, eh. Poor appetite. So, mm -hmm. That's how you know it's the flu, eh. Kasi talaga mm -hmm. systemic ang Tapos, ubo-ubo, sipon-sipon, yeah. diba? Yun yung mga ano niya. Oh. But it can get worse, ha? As in, pwede mm -hmm. magka-overlying bacterial infection naman. Pwede ka nang pagkat tonsillitis, mm -mm. pwede ka ng nasopharyngitis, and other bacterial infections. Oo. Kasi Doc JM, kasi may mga, halimbawa, pag nagpo-flu ka, yun know, mga bata, yung mga nana, hindi nila kaagad din nadala sa doktor. Yes. Diba? Kasi sabi na, ah, lagnat laki lang yan, yung mga ganyan. Totoo ba yung mga ganun? Technically, the, if it's just the flu, it should resolve on its own. Mm -mm. Our body's immune system mm -mm. can take over it. In fact, the doctor won't give you anything special naman. Mm -mm. We'll just tell you to rest, drink mm -mm. lots of fluids. And siguro, oh, nga, important yung water. Uh, eh. And take your proper nutrition. Mm -hmm. you know? Pero sa akin, Doc, ako kasi, ako bilang, ano, as a parent, as a mother, no, pagka alam kong may lagnat na yung anak ko, hindi ko na kagad pinatatagal ng three days, eh. Lalo, especially pag masyadong mataas yung temp ng fever, dinadala ko na kaagad sa doctor. For others, ano yung mabibigay mong advice sa kanila na when to call a doctor talaga? Siguro kung persistent yung symptoms, mm -hmm. parating mataas talaga yung fever, lalo na may dumalabas na rashes na, baka mm -hmm. dengue, dengue na pala na, Or the cough and the cold are severe na talagang over several days, parang hindi nag-i-improve. Mm -hmm. then you might have a bacterial infection na baka kailangan na mag-antibiotics. Mm -hmm. Nabanggit mo, ano, Doc, yung dengue. No? Ngayon, kasi nauuso naman ngayon, di ba, may case tayo ngayon sa Hong Kong, yung mga bird flu. No? Ah, okay. An ano, yung, ano, yung ano yung symptomas naman ng pag meron kang bird flu? But there are certain strains ng flu that mm -hmm. cause severe illnesses. Mm -hmm. Yan yung mga bird flu, swine flu. Mm -hmm. And we're really afraid because every few, almost every hundred years, nagkakaroon mm -hmm. ng pandemic. Yung severe pandemic na ang daming namamatay. Mm -hmm. Our last pandemic was in 1918, yung Spanish flu. I think more than 300,000 yung namatay mm -hmm. dahil sa Spanish flu. So, mm -hmm. it's about time na magkakaroon ng pandemic na naman. So, once we see that a certain strain of flu that causes severe symptoms that do not resolve, then we start being very careful and try to isolate these cases mm -hmm. before siya mag-spread sa ibang tao. Mm -hmm. O oh, yun nga, kasi Doc, di ba syempre, flu din to. So ano yung usual na symptoms ng, halimbawa yun nga, bird flu? Bird. Ano yung pagkakaiba niya sa seasonal flu? If they don't recover. So they get this progressive um, shortness of breath, difficulty mm -hmm. in breathing, now viral pneumonia na, mm -hmm. and it gets worse and worse, it doesn't improve. Unlike the normal flu, which yeah. after about three or four three days, days oh, oh. wala Tapos, di ba, di ba pag when it's dengue, you check 
kung meron kang rashes here sa arm, sa, sa stomach, ganyan. Pagka bird flu, ano yung, may mga rashes din ba tayo makikita? Sometimes they may get rashes, but it's just a progression of symptoms. Mm -hmm. There's a, there are tests that they can do, but these are these tests are not readily available. Mm -hmm. eh. mm -hmm. Tapos, syempre, di ba, Doc, uh, common knowledge na sa atin para makaiwas tayo, aside from vaccination, makaiwas tayo ng mga flu na ganyan. Uh, vitamin C is the best. Vitam ba? Vitamin C, if you are not eating a complete diet. Mm. Uh, Pakita ko na rin itong myplate.gov. Mm, kasi uh, this is the recommendation. Ito na yung pumalit sa pyramid natin, yung food mm -hmm. pyramid. So mm -hmm. this is the plate that you should eat. About one-fourth should be about fruits, another one-fourth vegetables, grains and proteins, tigbo one-fourth din yan. Mm -hmm. So in our everyday meal, dapat may fruits and vegetables. Yeah, tayo, nakita yeah. ko nga medyo malaki talaga yung greens. Oh, half of your plate yung should greens. be fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So if you don't get your regular fruits and vegetables, that's when you take your mm -hmm. multivitamins. So so hindi na tayo susunod dun sa dating food pyramid na halimbawa yung kakain ka lang ng sinlaking posporo na meat. Oh, parang ganun. Hindi, oh, na, hindi, na, hindi na, na, This is the one we follow now. Because mm -hmm. dati, yung food pyramid, yung pinakamarami sa ilalim, may mga grains at carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. They think na people were eating and eating so much carbohydrates, it oh, actually made eh. them eat, gain more weight. Kasi mm -hmm. sabi nila, sa food pyramid, kailangan ko kumain ng maraming mm -hmm. carbohydrates, oh, oh. eh baka it caused the epidemic pang of obesity. Oo oh, oh, nga eh. Tapos, kasi di ba nga, especially mga white rice, yung malakas, malaki ang content yes, ng sugar, yes. di ba? Uh -huh. Kaya yung others, they advise na imbis na white rice, yung brown or red rice uh, the, na lang, the more, that's healthier. The more fibrous foods are better. So brown rice instead of white rice, mm -hmm. sweet bread instead of white bread, mm -hmm. more cereals, more grains in your diet. Okay. But then you have fruits. If you're, not, if you're taking enough fruits, then you might not need extra vitamin C. Mm -mm. But if you're lacking in fruits, like nakita ko dito sa kantin, dito sa UNT, mm -hmm. walang fruits, walang eh. fruits So yung ibang mga staff natin, hindi nakakain ng fruits everyday. Kailangan ba They might need to take vitamins. Oh, pero yung iba nag ano, nagpapa-inject ng vitamin C, okay din naman yan. Pwede rin oh. naman yan. Kaso masakit, oh. natry ko na yun. I think the oral form is generally <laughs> Oh, yun better. na lang, oral na lang. And also our studies will say that if you take high doses of vitamin mm -hmm. C when you are sick, you can decrease your number of sick days. So mm -hmm. pag may sakit ka, dyan ka mag-take ng about mm -hmm. 1,000 mg of vitamin C. Tsaka mas maganda yung hindi, ano siya no, yung acid, ascorbic acid. If it's better Dapat tolerated. Dapat sodium ascorbate. Mas maganda ang tolerance lang. Mm -mm -mm. So, syempre, uh, kunyari, hindi natin na iwasan magkaroon ng sakit. Ano, ano yung uh, uh, treatment natin? If, you're, if you have fever, just take any paracetamol. Paracetamol, okay lang yan. Sa mga bata, paracetamol din. Paracetamol is safe naman. Mm -hmm. But you take lots of fluids talaga. Fluids are still the best mucolytic. Mm -hmm. Better than any of the tablets that we have for mm -hmm. uh, parang sa pampalabnaw ng plema at saka sipon. Mm -hmm. Kasi minsan, Dok, sab baka sabi nilang OA ko naman daw, or kaya kami ni Jeg ang OA namin. Kasi pag nanglalag natin yung anak ko, mayat maya kami tumitingin ng temperature. Okay. So, it's that okay? Pwede naman. Uh -oh. Kasi parang yung mga monitor mo kung gano'ng kataas. Yes, diba? yes. Especially right after. Para ma-document talaga. Uh, after, niya, after four hours na nakainom ng paracetamol. Oh, diba? You can okay give yan. another dose after four hours. Mm -mm -mm. Pwede naman. Ayun eh, nga. Kasi may iba din sinasabi nila na uh, pag may lagnat, tsaka ka lang magbibigay ng... Paracetamol. Mm -hmm. Eh, during those lagnat days, di ba, na may flu ka, sabi naman nung iba, like yung mommy ko, advice niya, sagarin mo na na hanggat, ano, every four hours magbigay ka. Ano yung talaga yung tama? Sometimes we do it kahit na, if we know that the, the flu is still at its mm -hmm. peak, we can give it every four hours talaga. Mm -hmm. Para hindi na, hindi na namin hihintayin na tumaas pa yun. Tumaas pa ulit. Uh -huh. The prevention na rin. During the peak ng flu. Bakit nagtatagal na ngayon uh, gumaling ng mga flu? But generally, it's still the... Oh, yung symptoms ng flu. Generally, it should still be the same. The flu is still the same. Di ba? Parang one... Ma parang medyo a few days, mata inom ka lang ng gamot, okay ka na. Ngayon, parang sometimes, iba, iba, two weeks na, meron ka pa rin runny nose, etc. Ba baka nag-overlay yung bacterial infection na yan, mm. kaya tumatagal na. So, the flu, may bacteria sa ka viral na flu. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, The bacteria, overlying infection na. And you don't call it flu anymore if it's bacteria. Bacteria. Na. Mm -hmm. Malalaman yun through blood test, di ba? Mm -hmm. Pwede ganyan. Oh, or just, the, or just the persistence of the uh -oh. symptoms means. Or the physical examination. Alam, mm -hmm. pag maraming kulani. And sometimes if the sputum or implema nagiging madilaw na or greenish, then probably mm -hmm. there's an overlying bacterial infection. Mm -hmm. Dok, paano pagpupunta kami sa ibang bansa? Kailangan ba namin, like for example, Hong Kong, do we need to have flu, flu shots? shots? Yes. Saka anong klaseng mm -hmm. flu Travelers shots? Travelers should get their flu vaccine. Mm -hmm. every, every time. Every year. Vaccine, every year. The best time to get your flu vaccine is still February to July. Mm -hmm. But the flu vaccine does not give you impure immunity to all the strains. Okay. And the scientists will only choose about three strains that they think will be active during the next one year. Mm. Lalagay lang yung tatlong strain yan sa vaccine, then they give it to you. So it's not complete immunity na hindi ka talaga magkaka-flu just because you got 
a flu vaccine. Tsaka magkano ba ang flu vaccine ngayon? Do, para sa ano, kaalaman lang na ating mga viewers. Yung sa amin nun, mga 8 to 9. 800? No. 8,000. 8,000? Diba? Uh, depends on your doctor. So, wow. so sometimes the doctors can give. But sometimes there are certain uh, industrial or offices mm -hmm. that give to their employees. So we encourage that every year you should get a flu vaccine. Oh, oh. Diba February dito sa atin? Oh, oh, flu vaccine? Pa, hindi na ako gagastol. Nati yata nag-flu vaccine ng UNTV, as I understood, mm -hmm. for the employees. It will decrease Simulan number of sick days. Simulan mo na yan, Doc. Magpa-flu vaccine ka na sa amin. <laughs> we'll wait for the 2014 strains. Malapit na rin mag-February. Mm -hmm. yeah. so every year kasi they change the strains. Mm -hmm. oh, then also children should get their flu vaccine. People with asthma, mm -hmm. with emphysema. Elderly people, everyone over the age of 50 should get flu vaccine. Every year yan, diba? Diabetics also should get their flu vaccine. Mm -hmm. O, oh, siyempre, Dok, napag-usapan natin na mape-prevent natin ang flu sa tamang pagkain. Paano naman yung, ano, yung pag-alaga sa sarili? Okay. Yung Proper hygiene, hygiene is also important. If you have the flu, you should wear a mask siguro para hindi ka makahawas sa ibang tao. Mm -hmm. One very important way of avoiding infections is hand washing lang. Mm -hmm. But if you can wash your hands often, you can decrease your risk of getting infections talaga. Mm -hmm. And for those who are sick, if you have to sneeze or cough, you cough into your sleeve. <laughs> hindi na ngayon uso sa kamay kasi oh yeah oh, kasi nga hawakan mo eh mouth then you hold other things pwede mo pa sa mga iba pwede ka mag hand sanitizer or wash your hands Oy, saka, best thing to do na rin kung meron kang ganun wag ka na lumabas ng bahay tapos yeah, mag yes. lagi kang may tissue sa tabi mo diba para yes. hindi ka magkakalat ng and kung marami kang play may you cuff into a tissue and then throw it in the toilet and then flush the toilet eh hey, kaso magka-flag magka-flag naman ng toilet <laughs> When you wash your hands, the, the correct duration is uh, one duration of a happy birthday oh, song. Diba? Ah, so, talaga? Ganun so you should katagal. be singing a happy birthday song every time you wash your hands. Oh, nakikita naman natin yan sa mga, like, yung mga hotels, mga restaurants, yung proper hand washing, yes, diba? Yes, uh, na talagang kailangan yung dito sa gilid, in between the fingers. Hindi siya happy birthday mo yung Tagalog. Either. Sa iyo, ang inuman. Either, either. The longer the bet. The longer the bet. Oh, simple lang naman eh. Basic lang naman kailangan gawin para hindi tayo lumala, diba? Hugasan ng kamay, drink plenty of water, diba? Yes. Tapos, proper nutrition. Very important talaga, nutrition. Okay. O, Dok, tapos na tayo. Meron ka bang ipopromote? O meron ka bang gustong batiin? Of course, every Sunday, you can still watch us on Doctors on TV, alas 7 hanggang alas 8 ng umaga. Bago na yung partner mo, di ba, Dok? Oh, it's together with Ms. Gretchen Espina and Ms. Yas Morales, our co-hosts. Alright.